ready to go? Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, how <laughs> we picked up from the last time. Last time on Driven. <laughs> Well, at this point, it kind of feels like second nature to me. It's a new experience every time. And when I get on track, it's still me in this car. Last year, we had a great year with winning the Formula X Southern Conference Championship. And uh, we were kind of wondering about what was gonna happen with the next year. Really kind of getting a little depressed. We hadn't been doing any racing because the championship was won and the year was done. We went down and interviewed with some USF teams, which is the first rung on the ladder to IndyCar. But um, you're talking about some serious money at that point. Racing is all about money, it really is. I mean, if you have a driver who has skill and talent and who has developed themselves like Ashland has, it really comes down to the money. And then in December, I get a call out of the blue from a man named Jay Messenger who owns Team Race Dog. And he called me and he said, hey, what do you guys got planned for next year? And I said, well, I, I told him what, you know, we don't know. We don't know what's gonna happen. And he said, well, you know, if you guys uh, are interested, I'd love to have Ashland drive my car. My last race was in May of last year, and this weekend is my first race since then. And it feels really good to get back, but in that off time, I got very depressed as well as my dad. We got very depressed, and when I got in the car for that first time testing with Jay, I didn't realize how much I really love racing until getting back in it. Last year, I raced at Formula Mazda, and I ended up winning the Southern Conference Championship and this year, I'm super stoked and I'm racing a F1600. It has a 1.5 liter Honda racing engine and it is a four speed H pattern shifter. This weekend, we're racing at Eagles Canyon Raceway and I'm gonna be really trying to feel the car and try to feel the weight transfer and the load. And we're also gonna try to mess with some of the shock settings, the rebound and compression settings on it. And really, I'm just trying to get a feel for the car this weekend. and hopefully win this weekend. I have termed this year the killer year because the dream seems to die right now. And I've been determined to try to do everything I could to make sure that doesn't happen to us. So it's really a bad position to be in and that's why I term it the killer year. You don't have the exposure, but you still need the money. And the only way to, to get that is to have people believe in you. And that's, that's not something that's easy to do. So I don't want to sound like a, I'm whining or, you know, or begging or anything like that. But that's just, the, that's just the reality of the sport at this point. As a racer, not being in a car, it's, it just is a, it's a piece of you that's missing. And you don't realize it until it's gone. When I got offered to race with Jay, I felt grateful, but I didn't realize how much until that first test session that I had with him. But I was even more excited when I actually got into the car. It just made me happy. The people that were with me that weekend, they could just tell I was so much happier in my face, just my expression and everything. Even talking about it right now, I'm just smiling because it just, I, it's its a part of me because I've been doing it for over half, half of my life now and it, it's just a part of me and I love it so much. Ashlyn's talent is very good. She's blown me away with a lot of just raw talent. Getting in a car and driving it to the limits, even if it's a car she's not uh, experienced with. So this, this Formula Ford, her race week, first race weekend this weekend, she was under the track record. Didn't get officially taken because that was during a qualifying session instead of a race. However, that shows that she has the raw speed. 
Racing is a multi-leg table, and I don't think I can name all of the key characteristics that are important, but we know the obvious ones. You have to have a driver that wants to drive. They have to have the motivation. You have to have funding. You have to have the opportunity, and then you have to have skill sets and the ability to focus. So even then, you can be very good and not win. But Ashlyn shows me focus and dedication and motivation and she has skills. There are many, many good drivers and then there's those top drivers. We'll never know if they're an elite driver until close to the end of their career. I think Ashlyn has the ability and the skill set and the focus to be a top driver. Elite will be for someone down the road to measure. That's a half second off the lap record. That's like two blinks. I always wonder inside her helmet what's going on. We've been doing this so long, there's no nerves anymore. It's just, I feel like she's a wind up toy. I wind her up and put her on the track and let her go. Ashlyn has a demeanor that is critical, and for the ones that are pretty good at the sport, the divining characteristic winds up being what's going on between their ears. She showed me that she could control what was going on in her head. And if your mind wanders off of that task at hand, you are not going to ever make it past a certain level of driver. Ashlyn has that unique ability. Next. Brahms. Brahms? Brahms. Between. That's all I can think about is Brahms. <laughs> Call it Brahms. Giant hamburger, two things of fries with honey mustard, a scoop of mint chocolate chip, and chocolate ice cream. All from Brahms. And a Dr. Pepper. Nice.